Uh, we good? Yeah. Let's get it. All right, guys. Welcome to episode 145 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go down in the description, get yourself some merch from Teespring. And yeah, man, uh, we're back. We're fucking back, man. We're back, like always. Man. Like always beautiful bro. Thursday. Beautiful Thursday, man. Thirsty Thursdays, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Look at that, man. Our no cursing policy is already out the door. But we're going to try for you guys. We're going to try. It's a beautiful <laughs> Thursday, all right? <laughs> Serious, John. It's serious. Don't curse. Only I can. All right. Yeah, That's nah, basically nah. what it was right there. Nah, Holy nah, shit. bro. It's just, <laughs> it's, just, it's just how it goes, guys. We curse like sailors for most most of our lives. We're like so. Gary V. Yeah, nah, for real. I just listen, man. It adds an umph to what you gotta say. He's like, man. that's just me. This is yeah, how I bro. talk. That's how we fucking talk. <laughs> Yo, nah, it's true though, bro. Some people like everyone's different. Everybody's people need to realize different. that, bro. You can't fucking sit here and be like, oh, like, you got to be like this. Yeah, facts. Like, who are you? you Yeah, if that's who you are, that's who you are. Fuck it. You know what I mean? It is what what it is. Jesus, it's Thursday. Leave me alone. I'll show you a Thursday. (laughs) No, you know what people like to do on Thursdays right before Fridays is go to the liquor store, right? Um, Right? And when you go to the liquor store, sometimes you got to pick up that crew neck with it. Crew neck. Oh. And the best crew necks come from the army store. Yo. All right, so listen. Yo. Round of applause. That's why I be wearing. Stores. People don't understand that. Like, I'm not going to go spend fucking, you know what I'm saying, $60 on a shirt. I'll pull up to Ami. I'll spend 5 $6 on a nice crew neck, bro, and have it looking smooth. Super smooth. For real. I'll spend 5 $6. They actually brought the price up now. It's like, it's not yeah, even it's 5 $6. More. It's like but 7 they're, $8. They're now. quality shirts, though. Like they'll, uh, no, no, They're quality if you don't dry them. Yeah. My yeah. problem is I be forgetting. I get lazy and I just throw everything in there and I'm like, oh, fuck. I shouldn't have fucking threw it in there. Yeah, I do the same. You I know? Do the same. But nah, man, those shirts be hitting, bro. People don't understand. You get a, you get you a nice pair of white forces. You get a nice white crew neck, bro. It's nice. $8. Yeah. Bro. You don't have to go out and slow. be like, oh, damn, what am I going to wear? I don't know. I'm going to the corner store right here. And you know what's crazy bro. is that. I wasn't worried about, man, what shirt am I going to wear on Thanksgiving? Because the liquor store is open on Thanksgiving. Facts. So I didn't have to, you know. Yeah, like I'm going to just pull up. Yeah. I'm going to pull up, grab me a bottle and a shirt. Real talk. And then I got me a girl. Round of applause to the guys that do that. You know exactly what we're talking about. You pull up, get you a little bottle, get your shirt, get your crew neck. You know what I mean? It has to be a crew neck, bro. That V neck shit is like 2008. I, right? I hate V necks. I never bro. liked V necks, even when them. they were in style. I never liked wearing them, especially when I was growing my my like my my chest hair. Like you started to grow, and now <laughs> and, like, and you see, I used look to like out. I feel like Miami Vice. You know, like fucking just walking down the street with your little. Oh, that's kind of flamboyant. <laughs> if you ask me. Nah, bro, you know what you should do? You should grow it out, bro. Start wearing V necks again, and then like have a little comb so girls could comb it. Well, I mean, the hair connects all the way from my neck bro. to my chest, all the way to my crack. I promise you guys. I'm not uh, even playing. I'm a hairy like, guy. Yeah, no. Nah, this guy is in a human onesie. Yeah, yeah, literally. Onesie, like, you bro. see my jacket? Like, I, this is that, what it looks that, like under my jacket. He's shirtless right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's shirtless he right should, now. That's his look winter like, coat. <laughs> I, look like, I look like Sandy. That's his winter coat, bro. Yeah, when they rip, that, they rip the fur off. You, nah, that bro. was a good episode. Nah, SpongeBob is classic, man. Did they stop making SpongeBob? Yeah, and no, uh, the the actual like creator SpongeBob died. Wow. Yeah. That's sad, man. That's sad. Well, rest in peace, Sam. I didn't know that. Yeah. Know that. But listen, man, we got to give a round of applause to J. Cole, man. Not only because he's a goat, right? He's a goat. He raps. He's one of my favorite rappers of this this entire generation. I know they gave that award to Drake, like the best of whatever the last 10 years but in my opinion lyrically some someone that really makes you think and feel and like j cole bro j cole has it like his his albums are great j cole you know j cole's a goat but man besides all that man you gotta you gotta give credit when it's due right and j cole predicted low pump falling off man. yes yes how did it go and one day you're gonna grow up and on your friends they gonna none they ain't gonna show up Ooh. yeah he was Bars. serious they didn't show up to the show they bro. done now bro listen man. he's still doing good he still got money he bought some house you know he he's he, yeah. he in miami he's doing his thing he got a mini horse 
You if know? you're smart, <laughs> you take the money that you made for those couple of years and you invest it and you'll be able to live the rest of your life in a great way. But yeah. like as far as to think that Lil Pump is going to be as hot as he once was, it's like, bro... It's true what J. Cole said. Like, your music doesn't hold the substance. Yeah. Like, there's certain things you could go back to 20 years later and listen to, and you're like, wow, like, this is still amazing. That's how I feel about... Uh, he tried going into the Latin culture, too. Like, the Latin, like, music, because he is Spanish. Yeah. And He's he Colombian. Did, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he did that, coron out, coron out, coron out, no, no. Yeah. You know? I'll put it in your mouth. You know? <laughs> and he snapped on that. I think it was smart for him to do that, because he knew... Like, you know, the Latin culture was, like, you know, mm -hmm. way more bigger. You yeah, know a I lot mean? of people don't know that. I say it all the time, man. The Latin, the Latin culture, the Latin market is way bigger. Yeah. Like, that's why Drake did a song in Spanish with Bad Bunny, bro. Yeah. Listen, man, Drake is too big of a brand to do something that makes no sense. Exactly. And they knew exactly what they were doing. Oh, bro. and it was a popping video. That video, the song itself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Drake didn't sound too bad speaking Spanish. So. No, 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 me up, me up. <laughs> That's how it went. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, my, Drake, dog be, man. my dog be feeling it. My bro, dog be having to let it go sometimes. Bro, you know I went like this, and I pulled I pulled my jacket forward a little bit, and I ripped a little bit of my chest hair. It was in the zipper because I'm not wearing a shirt under here. Yeah, so I was my like, dog's that rug got pulled. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those. You ever wore those watches? I hate those watches. The ones that you know they they pinch your skin. Yeah, bro. Oh I, my god, bro! Gosh. I need to wear a comfortable watch, man. Like if the if the watch ain't comfortable, bro, I, I ain't oh, I ain't wearing it. That was painful when you were a kid. You're like ah, it's like a little yeah. mini like. I don't know. I never liked those watches. My grandpa always did. I didn't. I never liked uh, it. Yeah. I mean, it's swag, but it, it's it, like it's like you don't have to size. No it. pain, no gain. Yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to size it. You just pop that baby on, you just and you pop that in there. It's just like a uh, you know one of those universal condoms. You just fucking you just a pop universal? them. Universal. I've never heard of those. Yeah, like any size. Wow. I don't know if that's that's real. if that's that I it can't be a thing. But <laughs> if it is. Wow, innovative, yeah. innovative. Yeah, Round for of real. applause to them. But now, nah, listen, man. <sighs> Bro, we live in a generation where people do a lot of things for clout, right? But I think one of the lamest things that you could possibly do, bro, is start a fake beef for clout. Yeah, and that happens a lot. I really feel like that's happening right now with Jackboy and Kodak. I really feel like they're just trying to like just. I don't know. Make their fucking music like more popping nah. than what it is. I don't know. I feel more about that way. I feel more like that about Kanye and Drake. Oh yeah, definitely. Because it's like, bro, y'all beats for how long? They then, did that before. Then like, y'all go to each other's house. Y'all have the number one and number two record. Y'all going to no, each other's number houses. one and number two albums, and now y'all are friends. Exactly. And it's like, bro, y'all they didn't finesse the, game. the whole game, bro. Yeah, and we spoke about this already, you know? You know, and a lot of artists are doing that, bro. You know what I mean? Like back in the day it was real beef. Like it was real. I mean, real. there's real beef now, bro. Yeah, but, but like it's different though, bro, because people like people back in the day, like the gangsters weren't rappers. As, as much as people want to make it seem that way, like, gangsters weren't rappers. That's no. why real gangsters from the 90s didn't look at Tupac like a fucking gangster. Yeah. Real talk. Like, they just didn't. So it's like, but now it's different. People saw the money in it, and now it flipped. So now gangsters that are real gangsters are hopping on songs and rapping about what the fuck they do and how many niggas they kill because they see the profit, they see the money in it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that kind of fucked up the game. Yeah. Because it's like, it's, like it's who, entertainment, bro. The streets yeah. and entertainment don't mix. And we've talked about all this shit a hundred million times. Yeah, but. it's like, bro, like, this is what it is. This is all entertainment. You don't think, like, the fighting, you know, like, happening at the, the weight room, you know, for, uh, before the fight, you know how they always do that? Like, oh, and they start mm -hmm. altercations and stuff like that. Like, there's reasons for that, you know. There's it's marketing and, and, yeah, and behind it, like it's of like, course. oh man, yo, he slapped him or he pushed him off. Oh, Jake Paul took his hat and ran. You know what I mean? It's all fake. It's man. like it's like it's, it's all, all for publicity. Yeah, exactly. It's just free publicity and it's for clout and it's just to get people intrigued in whatever the fuck it is they're trying to sell you. And that's really that's really what it comes down to. Exactly. But I feel like that starting that starting fake beef, bro, for clout, it could go real wrong real quick. Because for you, like, it's not always going to be 
both people like on the same page. Yeah, like oh yeah, there's fake beef. You might be fake beefing, yeah, and just trolling this nigga and thinking it's funny because it is. Like I don't care who you are, bro. Making other people angry. It could be fucking funny. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> you know like, you know, like when other people are calling each other out, like, oh, this guy does this. Oh, this guy's fake. This guy fucking shit himself when he got fucking punched, like Lil Reese. And, you know, it's like, <laughs> bro, it's funny. You know what I mean? It's funny. Yeah, it's entertainment. Bro. And people like drama. People yeah. like people like nasty shit. People like people, you know, talking shit about each other. Just drama, period. They love it. Anything with sex, anything, you know, all that shit sells. Facts. All of it, and people don't people don't realize it, but it's the truth. And we're f- we're like messed up. We're messed up for that. You know what I mean? Because like we're all drama queens. This is what we like to see. Yeah, man. People like, bro. It's funny. You look at good news, and it's so boring. You look at good news, and it's, it's all like, bad. oh, fucking <laughs> these graduates just invented some like crazy, th- like whatever the fuck, and you're just like. Yeah, like ah. Uh. But as soon as you hear Jay Z try to have sex with seven women at one time and cheat on Beyonce, you're like, dude, yeah. oh, that nigga crazy. That's, that's, and it's like that's what people are intrigued by the drama, the fucking bullshit. Yeah, like, like oh, he hit her, like oh, like <laughs> oh, he hit her. Did he choke her for ten seconds or more or less? Like when my brother, huh? when, when my little brother told me he got hit in the face, I was like, wow, tell me more. Tell, what <laughs> did you hit her back? <laughs> no, wow. Well, did the cops come? Why you let her? Do that to you? You didn't wall out in front of the cops. Uh, you you ain't no real Hispanic. Did you grab her by the twat? <laughs> <laughs> Did you pull a fucking Trump? Huh? Yeah, seriously. Grab her by the bush. For real, man. Hey, bro, we might get in trouble for saying that, but exactly. if the president can say it, we can't. Too. I think that was very clean. We didn't curse. Yeah. Wow. That was amazing. Matter of fact, round of applause yeah. as well. That was hard to do without cursing too. <laughs> Ain't no you know what's hard to do nowadays? What's hard to do, Marvin? Not not arguing with these dumb people on the internet, bro. Uh, you know, sometimes you get to that. You know, I you like how to, you didn't curse right there you, too. Yeah, you get to that level, and you just like, man, like you, you don't even want to scoop, like scoop to that level. You know what I mean? But sometimes, like, you just gotta really scoop yourself up and just say, you know what, I ain't even gonna reply, bro. Nah, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I used to go ham on some people. Me too. Yeah, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Like you're inbred, especially like, when they like, used to the, talk all types. Of crazy mess, but at the end of the day, it's true. It's like, bro, that's energy you're wasting yeah. on somebody you'll never really meet in real life. And if you did meet in real life, like, why don't you just talk to me? They'll probably about just it. tell you, like, bro, I'm trolling. Like, no, it's not even that. It's like, why is there you see me in person, you see me at the gym, and you're writing a whole paragraph so the whole public could see it, bro? Just talk to me in person. That's a fact. Like, why, that's why, do, why do we, why do you have to, like, literally leave, like, your opinion on on my opinion like if you have your own opinion just post it on your own page don't post it on mine and if you see me all the time then just talk to me about it like for real a lot of people yeah. don't do that it's like, like yo I just keep it keep it off like, social media like, like we're not gonna have, agree yeah, on everything if you have a if like and everybody doesn't like to debate there's people that do like that there's people that post stuff so that people could like you know they could start the art like the argument or the debate yeah the but conversation but sometimes people just want to post just to, like to some clout. things people just want to like be heard like sometimes people want to be heard they don't want you to fucking give your input yeah it's like i'm what not gonna mean? sit here and like argue with you bro there's people that commented under my picture and stuff i laugh at it like not my picture but like my music videos and i laugh at it because it's like man this guy really took time out of his day to do this yeah like, like you're really that much of a hater like bro. you don't even know me Real talk For you to like Really do that So that says a lot about you Like you know It's like man Like you don't even know me And you wanna sit here And comment and write something Under my picture Like that's gonna ruin my day Like it's not I'm gonna laugh I'm yeah, gonna be like man. wow Like this is hilarious Like if it was somebody I knew That did it I'll be like what the fuck You know what I mean There Sorry guys But <laughs> But Nah man Social media bro It's 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 a, it's a weird It's a weird place man You know we got Keyboard warriors That's why I call them Yeah bro You gotta Like you gotta detach yourself From the matrix For every once in a while bro That's really how I feel Like I feel like social media bro Is just It's that bro It's the matrix Like you could be Whatever you wanna be And It's just It's not real life man It's just not real life You gotta You gotta realize Real life is really Going on every day and yeah. social media, bro, like we've said it before, bro, that shit might not be around in 10 years. 
Instagram might not be around in 10 years. It might be something years. else. Like, we might do yeah. some virtual stuff. You know what I mean? It, like, it might be called fucking Dot Spot or yeah, something. Who yeah, fucking yeah, instead knows? Instead of Facebook, like, it's, me, it's Meta now or, or Mega, yeah, like, whatever. You know? Whatever, the, whatever it is, bro, it, it, things change. But, like, just be true to yourself and just be yourself. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know why that shit's so hard for some people. It, it, it really, really, like, gets people under, like, it, it really, like, it pisses people off, bro. It really does when you're really yourself and you and you just don't care what anybody else thinks. It really gets under people's skin sometimes. They're like, "Man, I can't get to this guy. He doesn't care." Yeah, facts. He doesn't, and that really, really irks some people, bro. Yeah, like, for people, real. Hey, man, like if that bothers you, you gotta look at yourself and see what it is yeah. about it that triggers you. Because if somebody's unbothered, bro, and you're sitting here thinking about this shit and mad about it. Nigga, they won. <laughs> yeah. Because they're at their house fucking rubbing their girl's ass and you're just sitting here, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just like, like bro, bro, like, like, if, but it's, if it's if it's like a, a, you know, an educational debate and it's really respectful on both ends. then Yeah, that's fine. That's cool, bro. That's cool. I don't have an issue with that. But just me personally, like, I just wouldn't just do that. Just inbox me mm-hmm. in a personal message. So it's between you and me. We don't got to be doing this whole show because a yeah, lot of people when like you that. see me, just pull me aside, bro. Yeah. It's as simple as a five minute conversation. Be like, yo, bro, like this is whatever, whatever. Like, all right, cool. Well, I didn't mean it that way, whatever, whatever. Whatever it has to be said, bro, just say it. You know what I mean? But now I completely agree with you, bro. Like, don't waste your time arguing with people on social media, bro. Like, if it's they not- don't, if they're not going to say it to your face, then why am I going to spend 20? Like, saying something is a lot easier than typing it. You can say it 10 times quicker than you can type it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you're not gonna like say it, then why are you gonna spend 20 minutes writing a paragraph? Yeah, and if they're hating guys, then hey, you're doing something right. If yeah, bro. If yeah, they hate, it. bro. Let them hate, man. That let means you're hate. doing something right because haters, haters not gonna start- hate on people that are doing like shitty. Bro, haters are low key fans. They're low key fans, bro. They they just they admire what you do. They just can't do it themselves, so they fucking envy it. Yeah, it's not really that they envy you. They just you know what I'm saying. They envy the fact that you got going what you got going. You know, but. That's just the way life goes, man. It is, man. And, but another yeah. thing about the way life goes is, bro, I'm like, people need to start giving other people their flowers while they're here, bro. Yeah. Like, that's part of life. That That's a part of life that I really don't like. Like, nobody shows love until somebody's gone. Yeah. You use them and, and abuse them and don't give a fuck about them and, and, and push them to the side and this and that. And then the day they're gone, now they're, they were your fucking everything and this and it's like bro oh i'm sliding yeah it's like bro bro shut your ass up man, man i'm telling you bro people don't want to give you your flowers until you're gone that's just yeah, what it bro. is that's just what it is bro and it's always been like that look at all these artists that are passing away you know what i mean now now like they didn't talk about any of these artists on on, yeah, on their page facts. whatsoever but that one time of them getting shot or their one time something negative happens to them where they die they're all over the place yeah, well, we were just talking about, man. People are attracted to that bullshit. They're attracted to the drama. Yeah. You know, like, like with that Young Dolph shit that just happened, people are like, oh, damn, you owned 100 houses. You did an annual turkey giveaway. He did this. He did that. It's like, yeah, bro, if you were, like, a real fan, you would have known that. You would have known that already, yeah. But like, he you're DMF's. not. So it's so amazing to you. But it's like, bro, he has been doing that shit for years. Yeah. Years. And all the mobs. Right. <laughs> like a lot of people do that stuff Like a lot of people do good things You see what I'm saying and, and they don't get them flowers bro Like they always look at just the negative side of it It's like bro like Everybody has 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 their ups and downs man You just gotta realize like Bro it's like Give them their fucking flowers And look at the positive for once man Like for Facts. real like That's a fact You know what I mean Like it's like me making music man Like I feel like I make pretty good music You know I, I feel like it's really good you know, and then let's just say, God forbid, something happens, I blow up or something like that. Oh, I told you so, man. Yeah, you always knew you're going to do this, man. Congrats, bro. Congrats. Like, you know what I mean? It's weird, bro. It's weird. Yeah, uh, no, nah, I, I completely agree, bro. It's people don't really support. They don't really believe. And then when it happens, it's flipped. It's like, oh, I always knew it. I always told you. It's like, no, you fucking did. You know, you could tell from the genuine support to like, the aftermath support mm-hmm. you know what I mean? if that makes sense like you always have you have those couple no, friends that are like yo i believe in you bro like you can do this for real and then there's other people that just you know 
They don't even believe in themselves, so it's like, fuck it. Yeah, they don't believe in shit. And then you got other people that they might not believe in you, but they see the potential. Yeah. And they see where you can end up, and so they, like, they try to finesse and play it. That's why it's like, like, there's been a few people, I'm not going to bring no names up, but there's been a few people where it's like, I I used to question you, you like, I used to ask you, like, yo, bro, why does he want to start hanging around us now? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, why, does he, why do you want to be around now? What changed? Because it's, it's still the same shit, but what changed in your, in your, you know what I'm saying, in your head where it's like, now you want to be asking what's up and what we're doing every weekend and wanting to be in videos and this and that. It's like, that's not the way that goes, bro. That's not the way that goes. You can't start, like, supporting, like, and acting like you're going a thousand percent once it's, like, already in motion. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, real support comes from just day one. You know what I mean? You don't have to wait to see results to be then be like, oh, yeah, 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 I support. Like, nah, bro. You, like, if you support, support. And if you don't, it's cool. Don't. You know what yeah, I'm saying? But just, then yeah. don't, don't just don't talk shit later. <laughs> especially, like, especially if we're from the same city, bro. Like, if we're from the same city, like, we really got to start helping each other out. You know what I mean? Like, we got to start, like, supporting, like, small local businesses. We got to start, like, you know, helping each other out. I was telling yeah, my homie yesterday, network, you know? I was just like, yo, bro, like, we from the same city, man. You know what I mean? Whatever you're doing, I'm going to support. And, you know, I'm going to be there for you. And, I, you know, if you want to be there for me, that I'm here. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm here, you know? But that's just what it is. We got to start helping each other out, bro. Like, and hip-hop is different. You know, hip-hop, we going to talk shit. Hip hop is gonna be like, yo, who's better? Who's better? That's just what it is. That's hip hop. Now, nah, good co competition is good for you, bro. Yeah. Like, but people just take that too far sometimes. Yeah, you know? they take it a little bit too and far. And it's like, bro, like it ain't that fucking serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, who, like, who cares? Like, yeah, you, it's good to be like, oh, I'm the best, and have that feeling about yourself and that confidence and have that competition. That's actually pretty healthy for you for the mental. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, once you start taking it too far, it's like, bro, like. Just chill, you know what I'm saying? Niggas don't need to start getting hurt over who's better. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. Like, yep. niggas take it that far where it's like, oh, well, I'm the king of my city, so... Uh, and then they start... Like, it's like, bro, like... Honestly, there keep is... It on, keep it on music, bro, and, yeah. like, it, keep it... You know, who who has the best bars? Who has the best song? Who has the most vibe? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You like, can't really... They, honestly, you can't really be a king of a city, bro. That's all bullshit. Like, you can't. Nigga, first of all, the king of the city is the police chief. Yeah, that's the king of the city, bro. He will give me the key to the facts, city, literally. Like, that the nigga mayor. Dict dictates who the fuck does what. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like... Like, they, the mayor could do that. You listen, know? <laughs> you may have a ton of influence in your city. And you may be up, and you may be a millionaire, and this and that. But that doesn't make you the king of anything. It's like, bro, like, you're just from there, and you're one of the people that just so happen to come up. Yeah, you know what I mean, but it's is that again is that ego thing? People really start getting into and you know start smelling their own fucking shit. <laughs> start Excuse smelling my their language. own crap. They start smelling their own feces, bro. You ever smelt your own crap? It's not fun. Yeah, it's bad. I've done it. You know, <laughs> I've my done dog it a couple times. The toilet, bro. I whiffed, nah, bro. I, the whole bathroom was done, bro. Bomb. I felt like that guy from Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace I forgot his name Nah for real Rest A, in peace a lot of people guys. died From that movie I mean bro It was made 30 years ago It was 20 20 30 years ago That shit A lot of things Happened in 20 years <laughs> For a lot of people for Die a lot of people Don't But 20 years Yeah bro Think about it yeah, in The next 20 time. years Who do you think Is gonna be around Hey man Only God knows bro Only God knows But I'll tell you what guys we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description. Get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And listen, man, tell somebody you love them, all right? Let's make it to the end of the year with good vibes, good spirits, and bring in this next year with that hustle mentality, all right? Let's get it. We love you. We appreciate you, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs>